Eurosports Online and we have a special mini documentary coming for Mr. Steve Dawson. He's going to be taking ownership of the first 2018 BMW K16 GTL from us. We're going to deliver this to his house and you're going to get to see the steps all the way through the build process and the delivery process to Mr. Dawson and his brand new 18 K16 GTL. So stay tuned.
check out Steven's bike. All right, Steve, we got your baby loaded up. We're in transit to your residence. Let's go. Oh, hey, Steve. Good to see you. We got your new BMW K16 All right. here. I have been waiting awesome. with bated breath. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah, do you want to do a delivery of this motorcycle together and learn all about it? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Excellent.
right, so now you've captured the preparation of Steve's K16 GTL, the actual delivery to our remote location out here on the beautiful Smith Mountain Lake so that we can deliver our first 2018 Ebony K16 GTL premium to Steve, who is super excited. Absolutely. Fine high I'm five, we'll be proper, give it proper hands. I'm ready for you guys to leave so I can take it for a ride. Going for a ride, <laughs> excellent. So what we're gonna do today then is go over a complete in delivery in its entirety of the K16 GTL. As you know from seeing other previous videos and such that we do, we always like to start at the front and give our customers a tire safety warning. So we're riding like we're riding in the rain for the first 50 to 100 miles because we're acclimating to a new motorcycle. We're also breaking off the silicone coating to help, that helps it pop out of the mold for sure shelf life. They got a lot of new attributes on the 2018 K16 GTL. One of them are our chrome attributes on the sides and our lovers on the side. Our badges and emblems have all been changed. Dresses it up awesome. Exactly, but we still retain some of the most important things like you should remember from your previous K16 what the tire pressure recommendation is. Uh, 40 pounds. 42, 42? Yeah. Running around 40 in yep. the front is A-OK. -okay. I don't like it too much lower than that. And then we have a tire pressure monitoring system that'll keep us within about a two pound tolerance of that. Right. And that is going to be through our instrumentation. 90 degree. 90 degree yeah, valve stem, perfect. and easy to access, and no excuses not to check your tire pressure. Every ride. Exactly. Now, we have our dual lever front end, which you're already familiarized with, which, for those who are not, it separates our braking and suspension system, allowing for 80% reduction in brake dive, giving it that BMW predictability when you're entering and exiting corners. We have a system that's going to give us a ABS and trash control with our still braided brake lines leading down to our calipers. There is an additional lead cable on this side. Yeah. It just goes to a speed sensor pickup for front and our rear tire speeds to monitor ABS, which has our ABS Pro and our trash control, mm -hmm. our dynamic track, or okay. automatic stability control. You can see now new vents on the side, the lovers we were just discussing a minute ago, and our auxiliary lights coming standard and factory on this package of this motorcycle. Our inline six cylinder is water cooled, fuel injected, and shaft driven with the para lever system in the back. And fast. And it's fast yeah. with that 160 horsepower. You'll see your water cooling system across the bottom with a water pump and some water lines going across there. When we're looking at a K16 GTL, we have more forward pegs with a larger surface area. They're still collapsible. And pillion pegs that have a larger surface area as well. Okay. This is our rear braking pedal and our rear master cylinder is hidden behind our heel guard right there going up to the ABS module, which is a learning braking system. It is an integral braking system, which means that you're applying front brake to get the appropriate value to the rear braking system for you by measuring the rider's weight and your speed on the motorcycle. Always giving you that perfect balance. Ton and of technology. Ton of technology. And you pair that together with the tail lever and the dual lever and the tail lever or para lever. We are set up with a system that's going to give us the maximum comfort for yourself mm -hmm. and for passengers. So as we come back on this beautiful ebony, which is changing colors as we're walking around the motorcycle, we have our pannier system for the rear that is removable. We can have a lock, unlocking and opening element by pushing the button and just opening our machine or our side pannier and lock it back down. Or we take our key and reverse it to the release mechanism. Handle pops up, bay comes right off. Super simple and easy. I'll demonstrate real quick. Let me grab your key for you. Take it right into the hotel with you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we'll just turn our key until we hit the release and our handle comes up and boom, we come in and out. Beautiful. Both left and right sides are gonna be just that easy. The rear has a little bit more to it. The rear is gonna be cabled and powered so we have to remove the seat, mm -hmm. quarter turn uh, twist, open the lid, mm -hmm. pull up the carpet, and do a twist on the handle on the okay. inside. We'll look and see what that looks like real quick. One of the extra things I'd like to add to this machine though are the auxiliary brake lights. We can throw a third brake light in the top I there. I think when I bring it in for the 600 mile service, I'm gonna have that done. Perfect. So we'll open up the top, and this is where we're gonna have our frontline swag you're gonna get here in a minute. Okay. Our Thank care package with all of our goodies like our owner's manual. Factory hang tag, your registration, some BMW complimentary fuel cleaner, the navigation system, which is the new NAV6. Yes, it is. We'll That's go awesome. through the complete assembly process with that. But look underneath the rug here. Okay. That's, That's my release here. That's your release. Okay. So all we're going to do is stick our thumb up and forward towards that arrow mm -hmm. and turn it, which is hard with me doing it at this angle. Okay. But you got it. And that's going to release it. Okay, got that. So we're going to remember to unplug your, your electronics. Just remember to unplug the electronics, absolutely. 
I guess you figured that out before you got it off too far, but. Yep. <laughs> hey, I got a new thing, man. In 2018, I have no more K16 complaints anymore. It used to be a guy on YouTube found me complaining about having to touch the chrome. Me being short and only seeing that. Let's grab the back seat rest. Oh, and go. now I don't even put any fingerprints on the chrome anymore. Thanks, Perfect. YouTube watcher. So we also have an LED brake lamp assembly across the back. It's going to give us our turn signals, our brake light, our um, normal running lamps, and illumination for our license plate, which we're going to transfer our plate off of our other K16 before we take off. Mm -hmm. We have our new exhaust outlets back here, which still rock the six, the three on each side to still keep that six mean. theme. Hell yeah, and it still sounds nasty and throaty mm -hmm. as ever. So moving from a K16 GT to the GTL, you're going to get this auxiliary top box here that has more of a curvature and a head brace to it. The wife we're going to have that. She's going to love that. And the wider saddle. So we have a lot more width for the pillion seat, mm -hmm. more surface area on the pillion pegs as we discussed. And that seat can come off with the turn of a key on the lock cylinder on the side here. As we get underneath of this, this is all the brains of the motorcycle, our audio system, our battery, and our power connecting cable. Another thing to remember to disconnect before we try to rip the seat all the way off. We'll slide that back into its place. You hear it pop in. I want to just temporarily stage now our this seat. is my, for my rear seat heater, right? Correct. That is going to be the pillion only, mm -hmm. and that is a low or off or high. Three position adjustability. You know you get spoiled as the pilot. Oh yeah. Five position adjustability. We still have a six-speed transmission. New cases for the side of the engine here, and this is going to cover up one of my favorite components, which is that gear shift assist pro on the K16 inline six cylinder now. Clutchless upshift and clutchless downshift. Whoo! You know because you have another BMW that has that. So you know how that works and operates. That's clutchless up with throttle, clutchless down with a closed throttle, really livening up the K16, smoothing out that trans transmission and driveline even more. I can't believe they hit it, but it looks freaking awesome with this Monu embellishment on the side of mm -hmm. the engine covers here. We have a engine side stand or the motorcycle side stand. The side stand is going to have a, a functional safety switch on it. Kicks off if you try to take off in first or second gear. Mm -hmm. We have a center stand. It doesn't have any safety switches at all on it. If we look up in this area, that's our ride height sensor we were talking about. That's right. going to be working a lot of our electronics for our ESA and our trash control or a braking system. Our still braided lines we discussed with that parallel line for our rear trash control and ABS speed sensor. And as we move forward to the front, they do have our correlating auxiliary lining with our little fins over it and a little bit revamped water line cover on the left hand side of the engine here. And that's one of the other things I would suggest is always add some engine protection. You had it on your previous motorcycle. Yeah, and I think that's another thing I'll do at 600. Yep. So I've already talked to Van about that. Perfect. So we got some goodies rocking and rolling all ready for our first service. We do have, since this is formed and designed with such an excellent wind protection, we have these little lowers that are going to kick out and add a little element of wind cooling capacity right. to us as we break out of that perfect calm pocket of air that BMW provides for us with all that luscious wind tunnel testing. Man, they even gave me some chrome on my front windshield. Yeah, you got that's, the chrome embellishment nice. on the screen, your bar rims, your wind protection, and then notice how we went to painted mirrors as well. Yeah. They changed the shape, they went to a painted surface, and if you look real closely, there's a black line in there. That's separation between normal glass, and it also has more of a convex glass on the that's exterior cool. part of it. Give me a little bit more visibility out back. Exactly. Excellent. Visibility is paramount. It's important to keep us in a safe situation. So now we can go over the handlebar controls real quick. We have our radio operating controls that are the same from previous models, our on, off, and mute, our source, our mode, and our memory buttons. We have our lockable storage components down here, which is where I temporarily have our key. Okay. On the other side, we have our audio system hookup, so our USB and our audio line My in. iPod. Yeah. And Perfect. if you want to switch spots with me real quick, okay. we're going to jump over to the left handlebar control, which this is a ride-by-wire system. Mm -hmm. So now we have a rheostat in that housing that's giving us a signal to the ECU. We have our that's central lock. locking system Love so we that. can secure all of our goodies down on this beast. We have our mode selection for our rain, road, and dynamic modes that right. we'll demonstrate in, in the instrumentation briefly. We'll have our run cycle and start button all integrated into one switch. Our still braided brake lines for our front braking system that does have a sight glass on the front for fluid levels and fluid clarity. Coming across to our keyless situation, your previous model, you had to have a key and stick right. it in there. Yeah. No more of that. We put a key fob in our pocket. We have the ability to turn it on and off, just the ignition, not the actual engine. And it's also our steering column lock. That's okay. a lot of people's question. We just turn our handlebars, hold that button, and now I have a steering column lock. Okay. One brief perch, whoop, we'll mm -hmm. unlock it. 
great. Now as we come further across the side, actually let's stop at the fuel, our fuel entry, keyless as well now. Mm -hmm. Just make sure and hold that tab up, push down and then close the lid. Don't try to close it and hammer fist it in. Right. There's a little chrome piece that sticks out you might damage. We don't want that. We go to our hydraulic clutch, again still braided lines and levers that can be adjusted on the fly. So we don't have to stop, pull the lever out and move our adjustment anymore. We can actually just reach up and adjust it back and forth like so with gloves on. Okay. BMW is trying to keep it where everything you do you can do with gloves on, keep your hands on the controls, keep yourself in control Perfect. of the machine. We have a reverse we get to go over. You get the first dude with reverse, I've got to baby. say, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to learn this one. <laughs> it's super simple. All auxiliary lining that we saw at the bottom. Okay, that's my on-off switch here. Roger that. Okay. We have our up and down motion of our electronic adjustable windscreen. Okay conventional horn and turn signal, our menu buttons with multifunction control I'll go over last, our hazard lights, our cruise control, and we just slide that over, hit our set, hit our resume. We can intermittently go higher or lower in speed and do a constant decrease and increase in speed. Kill it with this lever here, the throttle forward, the front brake, our rear brake, or our clutch. There's a little Disengages micro switch cruising. in the clutch. Okay. Correct, and that's my favorite method. I give a little throttle maintenance to keep it smooth. I run my hand over the clutch like that. The passenger will never know you're coming on or off of cruise control. So, the big thing for us to go through is our menu selection. Okay. A lot of this stuff is going to be familiar for you, but just reach down and hit the button for me in the center, which is going to start our ignition system up here, or our power. Just in case you didn't know you had a V6. <laughs> Intelligent. Yeah. You got your inline six cylinder rocking out. I'm going to turn the audio down, which is our multifunction controller. We can turn that down while we go through the instrumentation real quick. Okay. We have our speedometer, our tachometer with white face They've gauges. They've changed that, the looks of that. Yes, it's a little bit more elegant in my opinion. And a little bit better read readability too. Excellent. That's what we like. We can see also our gear position indicator. Mm -hmm. We're second gear right now when we can play with that. We got our ride mode selection above that. We have fuel, we have temperature, we have timepiece, we have trip meters, we have our audio system displayed right in the center right now, which we can change. Then over there is our electronic suspension options and our board computer selection option. Let's start with our mode selection so we have everything on the right handlebar knocked out. It's you a dynamic. Yep. It puts me into rain. Correct. So you're pushing once to activate it and then you're cycling through those modes. And right. you can do this on the fly. You just got to pull in the clutch zero out the throttle and let it coast for three seconds. And it'll my change, preferred okay. method. And it'll change on the fly so you don't have to stop. Oh, there's a rainstorm coming. Do I need to pull over? No. Just whoop, flick it over the rain mode. Let coast. It'll change. Well, I like dynamic. Well, you put it in dynamic if that's what that, you want. That's, that's what, what it makes on. you happy. It makes you smile. That, that does make me happy. <laughs> so central locking, we know how that works. Yeah. So let's take this puppy into our first menu selection. We went, audio is pretty self-explanatory. You've owned this machine, audio up and down, so you can scan through channels. So this allows me to set my road or dynamic here on the ESA. Yes, the first option would have been your electronic suspension, your all the way damping, your damping values. That's one big change. We don't have single, single gear and two up riding mode with three different preloads of soft, normal, and hard. Now you have uh, single, single gear, two up riding mode, dynamic or road damping values. Mm -hmm. So now you're dynamically adjusting your suspension instead of getting one of the three initial presets in there. Right. So we're going to go through and leave this probably in a road mode for right now. And we also can do a little setup with the damping values, which should be in single up mode. I had it set for single up mode. Yeah, that's fine. And so I've got my two riders, one with luggage. Yep. Perfect. So let's cycle. Let me put my head in there so we can see it a little better. So now we go to our board computer, that's what we desire to be displayed over here. We have average consumption, our consumption as we roll down, instantaneous. Can you give me a little click down there, Steve? Perfect. And we can watch this change for us. We got the range on fuel tank. We slide down, we've got average speed, we have ambient air temperature. Tire pressure, I love that. That's my favorite too, man. When you're driving down the road, you're curious, yep. think you've got a little wobble or something going on, you can just check it on the fly. And even if you're not paying attention to it, it'll come up with a visual warning that, hey, you've got, you've broken the threshold, you need to find somewhere to pull over, buddy. Right. We got our Stop chronometers. Uh, yep. Date. Travel times, our date. Which has already been set for me, thank you. Yes, sir. We voltage. got our electric voltage. Oil, Oil level's cool, too. That's Absolutely. Cool. Give you a big check when it's running, or you can turn everything yeah. off. But okay. since our personal preference is tires, you want to put it back up on tires, so we have it there safely for us. One more. Bam, and there's our tire pressure. Also, notice it just completes your motorcycle display. Now you got your little helmet on your little motorcycle with the little wheels on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> We're gonna tap menu one more time. We've got our trip menu, pretty self-explanatory on that, and your trip auto. auto. It just restarts every day. Yes. So yes. You just tell what you did for the day. Correct. You can have an auto reset for it. Uh, that's all on that. That's all that you have on the trip meter. So you have your five-position handlebar heat. Yeah, buddy. With a visual indicator up on the top of your motorcycle to say, hey, you've got your grip heat on. Because if the passenger is complaining, you don't know why they're so hot back there, they it's accidentally on. turn the heated seat on. You can see that and be the savior of the day. Then we're going to go over to our seat, heated my, seat. My seat. Yep, roger that. Seat. And you'll see that illuminate right underneath your helmet there if you were to slightly rotate up or down. And then we'll go into the next. We have our audio. Audio. We can go in and out. Notice that's the big thing about these. This is the only menu screen that has a back triangle that you can back out. So anywhere there's a triangle, we can go that angle. So if we go back in here, we've got Bluetooth pairing. We've got a Sirius radio. We can go back out one and rotate up. And it'll take us over to our tuner, our sound, and loudspeaker. Our tuner is our RDS, our sound is our bass and treble and tone, and our loudspeaker is on or off for whether we want to use our headset gotcha. or the audible speakers outside of the machine. So we'll slightly oh, one back, go down the user, and see what's cool using an individual that has very familiar background with this. Setting our language, time format, brightness of the screen, start logo, background, or go back to all factory settings. Okay. We can hit back one more time. We go to the vehicle. That's our alarm system and our headlight. Since we have the Xeon adaptive headlight system, that's the one thing we haven't talked about. It goes around corners for you, and it's a freaking amazing. It is great. Comes right out of their M3 technology. It is a spectacular piece of work, and we can actually change that. It's so sensitive that if we switch the side of the road that we're driving on, say we're going to South Africa or something. We'll do it right there. Right hand or left hand driving. We'll keep it in right hand roads for American driving right now. And we slide down. We have our time our date to set and our DTC, our dynamic traction control. That if you slide over into it, you have on or you have off once. Off once is going to give us no dynamic traction control for a little bit. As soon as you turn the ignition off and back on, it will come into its safest mode. That's why it's saying once. It's going to turn back on for you. So we've went through almost everything on the display of this motorcycle. I'm going to grab our navigation six system out of the back. Give us a quick little dis demonstration of that. Do is the long awaited reverse on the K16. Sorry for the back noise, but everybody's got to make a living, right? So, the first thing we're going to do is keep the motorcycle in a neutral gear. Make sure our side stand is up and start our new K16 GTL. We have neutral displayed on the instrumentation. Just hit the reverse and hit your start button. <laughs> hit the reverse button again, goes back to neutral. And we can put it back in first gear and take off. So that concludes our demonstration of the 2018 BMW K16 GTL with speed. So Steve's gonna take it for a little rip real quick. Check out his new K16 GTL. <laughs> 